Okay, so here's another tractor I've been working on today. It's a snapper rear engine model. Got it for, I think, 20 bucks at the scrapyard, at the junkyard. I think I showed in one of my previous videos. I think it was my Christmas Eve updates. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, all I had to do to it is put a new starter onto it. Clean the carp, well, not clean the carburetor, but just clean all the gunk and stuff out. Well, all the water, there was a bunch of water that was inside of the intake and inside of the engine a little bit. And right now, I don't have any oil, so it's a, it's a little milky. So, need to change it. And it seems to drive okay now. It's got a the pull starter is what I've been using right now. I put another battery onto it. Basically just my temporary battery because it's a battery I use for just about everything. And I put a bag on the seat because the seat has a crack in it and it gets water in it constantly when it rains. So yeah. Uh, brake pedal and clutch pedal. Uh, that was already done right there with these bolts on there. I did not do that. And the throttle, I had to take the whole throttle make, uh, thing off and I had to put a pair of vice grips to hold a small pair of vice grips to hold the throttle position right here in place so yeah just kinda keeps it kinda like almost like a throttleless engine but that's just temporary for right now I'm gonna eventually put something in there but I wish I could change, uh, put another throttle control on there, but I don't feel like, well, until I get another engine that has, or pull apart from another snapper or another uh, mower that has a uh, throttle uh, thing on it. Because if you, tr if you try to change it on here, it just, it broke off when I first got it, because this thing is a 1988 model. Doesn't even have a barcode on it, but the engine from the first couple of numbers on the code it seems to be an 88 1988 I think I don't think it's any of these other numbers so that's what I'm guessing but yeah it runs good I'll crank it up it is warm right now but for some reason you still have to choke it to start it but I don't know maybe it'll surprise me Uh, maybe I do have to choke it. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's my kill switch for right now. Don't really have a switch on there yet. So yeah, still gotta do a little bit of work. Just a little small minor problems. But at least it runs and it drives. It doesn't have a belt on the deck yet because I don't have one. And, I'm think and I saw another one at the junkyard. Uh, so I'm probably gonna go take it off since I already got the engine off. It seems a little bit... I'm not exactly sure how you put the belts on these because you got that drive disc on the bottom. So yeah, I have to figure that out. So yeah, all the tires hold pressure except for the one on this side. Don't know exactly why. Well, it's got a slow leak, so I might put some slime or something in it. So yeah. That's what I've been working on. And the Craftsman over there, as you saw in my other video, it runs too. So I have two running but not cutting tractors. So yeah. Thanks for watching.